Boys and girls, it is here. What you're looking at right now is the JBL Clip 5. Yeah, baby, it's here. But before we jump into this new JBL hotness, let me reintroduce myself and the channel. This is New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Clip it here, clip it there, Richardson, because today, yeah, man, you're here. This is the JBL Clip 5 in all of its glory. Let's take a look around it, man. This is it. This is the front. This is the back top and bottom let's start on the bottom man we got this usb-c charging input man this is still exposed but it is still ip67 rated this is where you charge up that massive battery i say massive because it's massive for a battery or speaker this size the old one the clip 4 was only giving you up to 10 hours of battery life jbl somehow decided to cram an extra two hours into this thing. So you can get up to two hours or actually up to 12 hours worth of battery or playtime out of the JBL Clip 5, which is pretty outstanding because I always thought the, uh, the JBL Clip 4 was doing pretty good for what it was doing especially for the output that it was putting out. I, I really like the way that thing sound, but somehow they actually made it sound better while giving it a better battery life. But we need to keep touring around this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the power button. That is the Bluetooth connect uh, to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing up, man. This is the Bluetooth connectivity button. And this is the all new AuraCast button. So you used to have a, a different button here. Well, actually, no, you did not. Because previously, JBL's small speakers, which was the Go the Go series and the Clip series and even the Wind series. So you know, a lot of y'all don't know about the JBL Wind. It's a pretty good speaker. I just don't like the way the Clip is built on it. Anyways, they did not connect to the app. So there was no app connectivity to figure out anything updated or nothing like that. But now we have this button along with app connectivity. This is the AuraCast button. So basically now you can actually stereo pair up to two of uh, the JBL Clip 5s together for stereo pair, or you can pair all of them, like all your JBL speakers together in AuraCast to have just a straight up party mode. So that's what's up. Then if you flip it over to the front, you got your play and pause, and then you're up and down for your tracks right there. And then if you look in here, can you see right in there? That is your power indicator. It's not necessarily a battery indicator. It is a power indicator. I wish that there was a real power indicator, like, you know, maybe like four LEDs or something like that, or at least three LEDs to let you know, like 33% left or something like that. Or, you know, they kind of did it like Sony where they just told you like, 33% left with, you know, like a sexy JBL lady voice or something like that, like Sony does it. Anyways, let's go back to this. This right here, this is clutch. You see this right here? Look, look at that, man. Look at that, that that right there. This, this is what's up. This was really one of two only improvements that I was uh, hoping for with the JBL clip series because this right here, this backing, this is where the speaker sits because it clips onto something so you can hang it. But when you just setting it down and it becomes an up firing speaker, okay? It would be nice if you could just have a flatter surface here and you could just kind of stand it up just like that. But hey, you got two ways to have this thing, either hanging or on its base on the back, okay? It was not gonna go anywhere, nor will it peel off like this one. This is the clip four. And you see this, you see this mess? Look, man, I ain't even use the speaker that much. Look at it, it's already torn up. I, this thing probably has like, probably, I don't know, 20, 30 hours of playtime on it. And I guess over time, it just degrades, but we're not talking about that. Um, what I do wanna show you though, oh, you know what? Let's bring this one back. What I do wanna show you is what has changed. Now, this is not gonna be a comparison video. I'm saving that for another video because I like YouTube views. I make money off this stuff. So I gotta do more videos and get more views. So you come back for the direct comparison video. I just wanna show you this right here. So what they've done here is giving you just a little bit more headroom here. So it's just a, a few millimeters more of clippage you're getting, okay? So you can fit something just slightly bigger in there and slide this joint on to something, okay? So I'm gonna have to go around and test what I can actually clip this onto, but for sure, this thing is actually made to clip on bags, backpacks, straps, shoulder straps, anything you can like a purse, duffel bag, whatever you got to clip this thing on, a fence, Okay, what that's it's the clip. Okay, so you just look around for things to clip it onto because that's what this thing is designed for. Now I've got this thing all fired up and I'm gonna connect it to the app. There it is, it's actually connecting right now. You'll see your home or really only page of the app that you have and you're gonna see some stuff here, man. You got your pretty little picture of your clip 
and you got your battery percentage there, and then you got some EQ stuff, okay? We do have a custom EQ that you can create using this five band EQ. This is pretty huge for JBL. They typically would only give you a three band, uh, but now they're giving you a five. And then we have some presets here. We got vocal, we got energetic, chill, uh, JBL signature. Now for me, the JBL signature is where it's at. You will hear a pretty slight difference in some of these other um, EQ modes here. I uh, like vocal. They'll pull back, you know, a lot of the bass and stuff like that. And you can listen to a podcast with this thing without having too much resonance from the voices. So that's good for that. But you know, you got energetic and chill and of course your five band EQ that you can customize. But I personally like the uh, JBL signature uh, preset right there. This right here, this is new playtime boost. What this does is I'll toggle it on and then I will actually kind of just read it out to you. Uh, the loud, play louder music with longer playtime. Playtime boost will boost up the volume of your music, but consume less battery. Under this mode, the EQ is disabled. Got it, all right, let's turn that off, okay? Because I don't want my EQ disabled. What this does actually is kind of, it pulls back a lot of the bass, okay? A lot of the, the, the feeling of the music, so you can have louder music and a longer playtime. But it's gonna disable your EQ and okay, your music has changed effectively now. But once you toggle it off, you can get back to jamming the way you used to with full immersive sound. And when I say immersive sound, don't get it twisted. I'm gonna give you a little sample of the, how this thing sounds, but look, it's a palm size speaker. Don't expect too much, which takes me to specs. I don't give a damn about no, you know, sound specs when it comes to a speaker this small. You buy these things to, you know, just kind of take with you on your bag, travel with, um, with the Go series and with this series, I've used this on a cruise before or traveling to a hotel when I didn't want to take up too much room in a bag. You're not buying this for high fidelity, you know, long, hardcore listening sessions, man. Just, just, <laughs> it is what it is. You, you guys with your specs, you kill me. Anyways, let's get back to the app. And this feature right here is pretty cool because this is actually new for the small series speakers too, such as the Go series and the uh, Clip series, which is stereo group. Okay, now when we talk about stereo group, you can only group two of these together in stereo mode if you have two identical JBL Clip 5s, okay? Now, if you have all the other speakers, like I said before, like the other ones, you can group them all together in like a group group, and then you could just have sound all over the place. You can just put like, you know, all the speakers that will actually connect like a hundred of them, I think. Just connect them, it's freaking crazy. But that's it for the app experience. I wouldn't expect too much out of a speaker this small. I will say at retail price, I always think these things are a little bit high, but are they worth it? I don't know, man, that's up to you. I actually had to pay full price for mine and I'm okay with it because I really like the Clip series, man. This actually used to be, well, this one used to be my shower speaker. This is the Clip 4. I used to love this thing as my shower speaker, even though I had to pay so much money for it. I'm just glad they decided to update a couple of things that I was looking for, such as the backing to where it doesn't peel off of there. This is like inset, man. This is in there and it doesn't feel like it's just gonna start peeling off anytime soon. And they gave us a little bit more room in the top here. Now as for a full comparison uh, to the Clip 4, like I said, you gotta come hang out with me later on another video for that. But right now, I gotta tell you how this thing sounds. So let's just cut to that part and then we'll say goodbye later. All right, man, that's the JBL Clip 5. I hope you guys like what you heard and saw because I do. I don't care if you did or not. <laughs> <laughs> I like what I like. Hey man, I've always liked the JBL Clip series. Very great speakers, man. I'm really glad that they they didn't decide to change much. They just kind of changed a the little thing. They, you know, if something ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it's broken, fix it. And I feel like that's actually what they did with the Clip series and as well as the Go series, because we've already done a video on the JBL Go 4. So if you haven't seen that one, go check that one out. Now I gotta start working on my videos for comparing the JBL Clip 5 to 
the Clip 4, and also comparing the JBL Go 4 to the Go 3, because we have all these little speakers that we need to talk about. Oh, let me turn that around. As you see that? You see that all that raggediness right there? We're not doing that no more, okay? This is the JBL Clip 5, and it is kicking. It's, it's kicking the old stuff out of the way and we got the new stuff. <laughs> hey man, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.